Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you have not been here before, and thanks so much for watching this video. So for today's video, I wanted to share my new favorite hot tool. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am obsessed with this tool. First of all, this is not sponsored. T3 did send me this tool a couple months ago and I just recently used it for the first time, I think like three weeks ago. When I tell you guys I was absolutely mind blown by this, I cannot even put it into words. Like I was so shocked at how much I love this tool. So this is the, I always forget what it's called. It's called like the Air something duo obviously this is not sponsored <laughs> i don't even know what it's called google to the rescue this is called the t3 airbrush duo it comes with two different like nozzles so this is supposed to be like the smoothing brush and this is the round brush i've actually never used this one like i've said this is only my third time using this tool so ever since i started with this tool i was just like addicted to it i cannot stop using this specific brush head it is so good for doing like a bouncy blowout at home as you guys can see my hair is just so smooth i have the frizziest hair on earth and it just gives me the prettiest blowout. It looks so good. It lasts all week too. So I'm really excited to share with you guys how I use this tool. Did I mention it's literally the easiest blowout you could ever do? If you've always wanted to give yourself a blowout at home, I'm telling you, absolutely get this tool. It's so much easier than a blow dryer and round brush. And trust me, I've tried a couple different products like this where it's like an all-in-one tool. This one, hands down, beats them all. I hated the rest of them. So I'm just so excited to share with you guys how I got this look. Spoiler alert, it's super easy. But I'm the type of person that when I'm interested in something, I like to see videos of people using it just to see if this is something that I feel like I can do at home or if it's the specific result that I'm wanting. So. That's what I'm trying to show you guys today. Hopefully you guys find this video helpful. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. If you guys enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And leave a comment down below letting me know what else you guys would like to see from me. As always, I'll be sure to link my Instagram, TikTok, Poshmark, presets, camera details, outfit details, all that fun stuff down below, as well as all the products that I'm using today. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and get started with this bouncy blowout. I don't know what I'm doing. I just love my hair like this. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, so I just did my makeup and my hair is still wet in this little towel thing that I bought from Akis. Apologies if it is very loud and clangy behind me. Brian is currently working out, of course. When you work from home with your spouse and you got two big loud dogs, there's never like a quiet opportune time for filming. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So my hair is 20 to 30% dry. I do need to blow dry it till it's about 80 to 90% dry. Um, but I do wanna put some product in my hair first. So first of all, I use the Drunk Elephant Wild Marula Tangle Spray. This is a heat protectant and it has um, just like a nice conditioning effect that helps me brush out my hair. Like if I tried brushing my hair just wet with no product in it, it would be a little bit more tingly. So this helps so much with brushing it out. So I'm not gonna use this today, but I had to tell you guys about it because it's literally my holy grail product. Like if I could get rid of every product in my house besides dry shampoo. I couldn't get rid of dry shampoo, but I could use baby powder for that. But I cannot get rid of this. This is my favorite product, hands down. This is the Dream Coat Supernatural Spray from Color Wow. Gets rid of all my frizz. It is so good and it lasts three to four washes, so that's why I'm not gonna use it today, but it's really good for humidity. Um, and I swear, just like my blowout looks so much prettier when I use this. So I'm obsessed. You guys should definitely check out this product. I've had this product since the spring and that's how much, like I'm right here. 
It goes a long way and I am such a fan of that product. All of Chris Appleton's products I've tried so far, I love. So these are the other two products that I'm going to use today. First off is this Color Wow Extra Large Bombshell Voluminizer. That is a mouthful, but this helps me get a lot of volume in my hair. And then I'm also using the Raise the Root Thicken and Lift Spray. You would think this was a Color Wow ad, but it's not you guys. This is genuinely me just loving the product. I mean, if they wanted to work with me one day, you know, I would not be upset about that. I'd actually probably cry because I love Chris Appleton and his products are just so amazing. Let me just gush a little bit more. What I love about his products is you don't feel them in your hair. Um, and what I mean by that is they're so lightweight. I'm applying that extra large volume product now. They don't feel sticky or like residue-y on your hair. They're just the best. And his products go a long way. Brian really likes his texture spray, which I love too, and I love his hairspray as well. All right, next thing I'm going to do is part my hair in the middle, which is where I part my hair. You can part your hair obviously wherever you want, but I like to do the front section separate from the rest of my hair. You guys have seen my video on how I like curl my hair with curtain bangs. I showed you guys how I blow them out um, beforehand. So I'm gonna do like that same type of technique, but obviously this is a different tool, which is kind of fun. And this shouldn't take very long, but I'm going to just blow dry my hair until it's like 80 to 90% dry with my Dyson. Griffin is crying because I closed the door. How dare I? But <laughs> this is what it looks like and I'm just really gonna like messily dry it. All right, now for the main events, this bad boy that I am so obsessed with. So the power button is back here. You're gonna turn it on and then you have three fan speeds. I like to put it on the highest fan speed. You also have a five heat settings. I turn it all the way up because my hair is very, very frizzy. And then I actually, I think this is like for the ion boosting something. I'd never actually touched that button before. But then also on the back, you have a cool shot, which is so nice. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush through my hair with it on. Obviously I brush through each section like four or five times I'm telling you guys, it's so easy. This little nozzle here doesn't get hot at all. So it's just so easy to continue like brushing through your hair. And then once I've got it to like the proper smoothness, I like how it looks. I go through with the cool shot, just to kind of seal in the style. It's so easy. I'm like, just wait till you guys see how it all works. But yeah, let's go ahead and get going with it. turn it off for a second. Can you guys see the difference here? Like how silky smooth versus like frizzy, just whatever over here. It looks so good. And it's not very loud either, um, which is really nice because some uh, blow dryer tools can just be like obnoxiously loud. I'm gonna go through it a couple more times because I can still feel at my roots, they're a little bit wet. And then I'm gonna do the cool shot. That's the first section. It's so easy. I was going a little bit slower just because I'm filming a video, but it's actually very, very easy and pretty quick to do. So I'm gonna keep going with the rest of my hair, probably speed you guys up. And then I'll show you guys at the end how I do the top layer of my hair as well as the front section here. So yeah, 
I'm gonna speed you guys up now. So for the top section, I'm going to blow it dry the same exact way that I normally blow dry my hair, where I'm kind of moving the tool upwards. So that's really the only thing you'll see me doing a little bit different, but I will show you. So basically, I'm just gonna pull up like so and back like so, but I'm always having the motion go up instead of like to the side. And I feel like this just helps me get a little bit more volume. Except for the front section. Can you guys see this volume? It's absolutely insane. And my hair just looks so healthy and smooth. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to blow dry it in this direction. Then I'm going to blow dry it in this direction. Then I'm going to take the hair and I'm going to blow it out exactly how you guys saw me do my hair before. And I think I'm gonna turn the fan down to two just so I have a little bit more control as well. I'm gonna section off the pieces that I'm going to do second, just so they don't get in the way. Then I'm gonna take this front section, kind of my bang section, and I'm going to blow dry it, pulling forward like so, and then off to the side while still kind of like twirling the barrel. And I think I'm gonna put it down to the lowest fan setting.
hit it with the pull shot. And then the last thing I will do is kind of merge this section and this section. So I grab a piece from both and I'm gonna do the same thing. there you have it just like a nice little swoopy kind of curtain bang situation all right you guys i am back put a little bit more makeup on put real clothes on and i mean what do you guys think about this hair it's just so bouncy so voluminous i love like this like curl it gives i mean in my opinion i think it looks like my hair just came back from a salon i mean right it just looks so pretty so shiny i will say one thing that i absolutely love about this tool is my hair doesn't feel like damaged afterwards if anything it feels super healthy one other thing that i notice while i'm doing my hair like this is my hair doesn't get super hot like it will when i do a regular blowout with a brush so i really like that aspect of it and obviously my hair is very very frizzy so if you've got hair that's not super frizzy like mine. You probably won't have to go through each section as many times as I did, but I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have no frizz. Of course I have like flyaways and stuff up here because my hair is just broken up there, but legit no frizz. It's absolutely mind blowing. And when I first used this tool, I was not expecting these results at all. So third time using it and I'm still just as obsessed so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys today maybe you're looking for a christmas gift for somebody or a christmas gift for yourself or to give somebody else maybe inspiration for a gift for yourself it's just so nice to have a big bouncy blowout like this and it's something that you can get at home with such ease so i million percent recommend this tool from t3 i really cannot say enough good things about it i've been talking about it like crazy on instagram and i just told my sister-in-law about it there's definitely a more expensive tool out there which by the way i actually purchased the dyson air wrap during the sephora sale it's supposed to arrive this week so i'm gonna do like a video testing out both kind of like one side doing my hair with this the other side with the dyson obviously the dyson has way more attachments and whatnot so it is different in that sense this only has two attachments but i guess it just kind of depends what you're looking for for me um when i curl my hair i want it like actually curled so i don't know if i'm gonna be obsessed with the dyson like i am with this if that's something you guys want to see let me know and i will definitely do a comparison but 10 out of 10 recommend this tool i legitimately cannot think of a bad thing to say about this i love it that much so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what else you'd like to see from me and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.